Um, hi, I'm D4 Takedown, and today we are doing Star Wars Galactic Battlegrounds. Um, we're just going to go and do a standard game. Oops, leave it all random. Well, that's pretty much fine by the looks of it. Easy, because this is quite literally just a tutorial, the basics today. Always, always put that up. Plenty of population. The rest should be good. So, let's crack on. So, yeah, as I said, I am D4 Takedown. And I'm going to do this in games tutorial today. And we're going to see how it goes and where it goes to. Here we are. So obviously our villages, one of the basic things to do is first we need resources, so wood for one, and we send the others out to find food. These fun little creatures now, they are going to come in handy later, we do not want to kill them yet. What I like about this game mainly is is it's a uh, spin-off of a game everybody knows, everybody enjoys. That would be Age of Vampires. Yes, it's based on our Age of Vampire Friends game, which oh, is always a fun game. But this has its. Uh, on unique tr uh, tech trees. Oh, let's put a little spare resources here, as you can see. Again, that is exactly what we are searching for right now. Put a little sand sky up here. And here's our first basic buildings. We have houses. We have a place to store food. We have farms, but can't get down until we have one of these food productions. We then have an animal nursery, which is the thing I talked about before that we want to put the animals in. We will get to that now, actually. Now, one of the things in this game we need to put always into consideration is these power cores here. It's easy. Power cores power everything. And I mean everything. They increase production. Um, speed that you create units and you're capable of collecting resources. So it's quite helpful to have a fully functioning power grid covering pretty much everything in your base. Uh, now if you're playing it on, well actually it's only for the PC I'm afraid to say people, but if you hit the keys 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you can increase the speed of the game. I'll keep on searching now. So let's see what's in the darkness. Kill that. Now, obviously, on all games, there's always something that's going to hurt you or try and kill one of your guys. Unfortunately, we just saw the problem. There's loads of different types of creatures that cause havoc, trying to kill your people, as you can see. So, yeah, your best bet is to move quickly, efficiently, find what you need in the local area, because they always put enough supplies within the immediate area. So, we want to use them. Okay, we're going to need some more villages, aren't we? These are our villagers, our workers, sorry. They do the day-to-day -day room of, well, everything. Building, repairing, all the bits and bobs. Now, set relay points, click on the building, and just right-click anywhere you want. Shouldn't be an issue at all. Get some supplies. 
flies. Um, Skip ahead a little. So, as I was saying before, um, no, actually I've just, I should say, I've just upgraded to the tech level 2. Um, oh, and before I said that the increased speed buttons were the 1, 2, 3, 4, I do apologise, they are not. In fact, it's the plus and minus on the right hand side of the keyboard, those numbers. Um, the very far right, the smaller set of keys. Now, um, to give you the basic quick tutorial, obviously we have our main hub, our town centre, if we're going from the Age of Empires sort of thing. Um, these are our workers, and we also have medics, which is a nice little advantage on this one, so we're able to heal much better. Um, as we should already know, we have multiple little things that we can build from. Our first is the basic build and our houses. Our food production system, once we've built them, we're actually able to make the farms. Um, if you all remember the animal nurseries, of course, that's where we put the animals in before. And the power cores, which is to give everything an increase of productivity. Now the carbon products is from the original versions of the Age of Empires, known as the Lumberjacks, to simplify it for everyone. The ore productions is stone, which I need to get some more on for those guys. Look at them all bored, sat there, doing absolutely nothing. That same as those guys. Pack them all together, we'll move into a new area. And then there is one more, I'll show you now. Yes, the Nova Crystals, which is a gold. Now, our spaceport is actually the Trade Center, our marketplace, which is always helpful to know. I know a few people have had no idea what that was. And then we have a war center, which is a research building. I'll click on it now and show you. We can increase you know, basic armor, blaster power, primary focus coils, sorry, which is still attack power, but we're not on now, in fact. Then next we have military buildings. Now at the moment, we only have four at tech level two. This is the first one, the docks. And we have some fishing trawlers out, basically. We have the stables. These ones are known as the mech factory. And then we have the basic military barracks. Um, new addition to this game is an anti-air because, well, we have spaceships. Um, so yeah. And last but not least, my personal, truly personal favorite little thing, a Jedi temple, which is what used to be the church, and our priests can now attack, never mind just convert, which I thought was quite a fun little thing. Um, the last thing we've really got to play with is these for the moment, the lights for instance, attack level 2. There's not too much to work with them on level 2, uh, much more obviously as we progress further and further. Um, but yeah, at this stage, once you hit level tech 2, you kind of want to just concentrate on maybe building some troops now, because someone is going to attack you sooner or later. Let's be prepared to not. So the basic rule of the game is, build your base, get as much resources as you can, build your army and invade. Hopefully, in that order, and some type of success um, when you're moving. Left click to bring up the white line and right click so you can move to wherever you want to go. Really quite simple. I'm not sure if I already covered that. I thought I did, but I'm just trying to cover my base to make sure. Um, but that's basically it for this one. Um, next tutorial would be um, better positioning of locations of certain things within your base to keep an eye on them to make it a little easier to remember where you've put things, like keeping your military buildings together, usually with some sort of defense around them because I've noticed they get attacked a lot. 
Also, best places to place your defensive towers and stuff like that. Um, I can also show a few strategies on my defensive strategies to show you, well, an impenetrable wall regardless of difficulty. Um, obviously, the higher difficulty, the more odds that you're going to have to re repair on a couple of things. But other than that, yeah. So we'll be continuing on from the next one from here. We'll be going to build an army. We'll go into a bit of information about the troops and things. Um, yeah. As always, I was D4 Takedown, the Mad Washman. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, comment, and please, by all means, comment. Um, I really want to see what you all think of these things. If I'm doing good, bad, heading in the right direction, the wrong direction, what, what do you guys think?